A world explorer. Before you start exploring the world, please fill in your name, your age and your address. Then use these arrows to find a photo that you like. Click here when your passport is ready. Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Little Bumble Bears Let's Play. I'm Kristen and we're here with another DK game. This has become a world explorer, also known as my first amazing world explorer. I think this was one of my first DK games that got me into the whole DK franchise. And I have so many wonderful memories with this, as I usually say with a lot of the games on this channel that I share with you. This was one of my favorites. And uh, I just loved seeing the different countries, following Joe's clues, and I hope that this will bring some nostalgia to you too if you remember this game. If you enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up and let me know. Leave a comment down below because below, I'd love to hear your thoughts. And of course, subscribe if you're new for more nostalgic gaming. There's a playlist in the description box where you can see all the other DK games on this channel. Check out my playlists in general. I have many and I try to keep things as organized as I can on this channel. I have a Twitter and Instagram you are welcome to follow a streaming channel, and a Discord with the kindest community on the internet. It's such a great group of my friends. So if you'd like to join, there is an invite link to my server in the description box as well. So come join and say hi. All right, let's travel around the world. Enjoy. Hi, my name's Joe. If you want a guided tour of all the activities in your bedroom, you can click on the train. But I can't stay because I'm off on a round the world holiday with my parents. I might have to ring you later, so be sure to answer the phone. game would you like to play? Make them match. Click on the train to find out how to play. Well done! You have matched four pairs. Would you like to play again? Plan a picture. Click on one of the trains to find out how to play.
Treasure Hunt. Click on the train to find out how to play. Well done! You have found the treasure! Hello? Hello, it's Joe here. I need your help. I've left behind an important parcel. Can you bring it to me? Click on the parcel if you want to start the adventure. Select a level to... It's amazing here. We're actually in the Arctic Circle, and we've met a man who owns two reindeer. Make sure you bring some warm clothes when you come here, and try not to lose my parcel in the pine forests. Caribou. The caribou is a large reindeer that roams northern Canada and Alaska. Male caribou fight each other using their antlers to find out which one is the strongest. North. West. East. 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 Look, Joe's left you a clue. Once a year, the Sami people round up their reindeer. They chase them down from the hills and forests using their snowmobiles. Everyone picks out a reindeer for themselves, which they will sell or kill for food. This couple have caught their reindeer by throwing a lasso over its head. Reindeer are extremely valuable to the Sami people, for as well as providing meat and milk, their fur is used for clothing and tents. And here's a photo of you for your logbook. We're somewhere in China. You should be able to find us. We're walking along the top of a very, very long wall. I can see from here that it stretches for miles and miles. Don't forget the parcel. Russian Federation. The Arctic Ocean's frozen landscape is home to some amazing mammals. Seals and walruses move clumsily over the ice, while in the waters below, strange-looking animals called narwhals, with their long, twisted tusks, swim gracefully in search of food. Beautiful beluga whales swim together playfully, squeaking and chirping to each other under the water. Like all sea mammals, belugas must come to the surface for air, before diving back into the Arctic's icy depths.
Arctic fox. West. South. East. Chinese festivals. Dragons play a large part in Chinese legends. Dancers wearing dragon costumes often perform at Chinese festivals. The famous Chinese lion dancers performed in the streets to celebrate New Year. The lion is lavishly decorated in gold and red, which symbolize good luck and prosperity. Chinese New Year is called Yan Dan, and it lasts for about three days. It is a time of gaiety when people go to spectacular parades with acrobats and dancers. Jaboa. This strange looking creature lives in the Gobi Desert. It jumps along at high speed using its tail to help it balance. Botala Palace Mongolia China Giant Panda Welcome to Chinese Airways. Which flight would you like to take? Your journey took 11 hours. Welcome to Europe. Your passport has been stamped. There are 19 aeroplane and boat journeys to collect in your passport. Collect all 19 journeys and you can become a world explorer. Welcome to European Airways. Which flight would you like to take? Passport. Here's your next clue from Joe. Send a postcard. You will lose... Here's another photo of you for your Globetrotter logbook. We're in Northern Europe and have just arrived in Denmark, a country that has lots of islands. We've seen a statue of a mermaid looking out over the harbour. See if you can spot her. We're in northern... <laughs> East <laughs> West <laughs> Eiffel Tower Houses of Parliament Giant's Causeway Edinburgh Castle Windmill
There are lots of windmills in the Netherlands. The windmills were once used to pump water from the ground to stop the land from flooding. Brandenburg Gate The Brandenburg Gate is a huge stone archway that stands in the city of Berlin. It was built over 200 years ago. Tree felling Fishing. Here's another clue from Joe for you to open. Brilliant! Look, here's your next clue. Here's another photo of you for your Globetrotter logbook. Mum wanted to see southern India. I saw a snake with what looked like a big hood on its head. It was really scary. But some people here keep snakes in baskets and play music for the snakes to dance to. Welcome to European Airways. Which flight would... Your journey took five hours. Welcome to Africa. Your passport has been stamped. Welcome to African Airways. East. East. West. South. Mum wanted to see southern India. I saw a snake with what looked like a big hood on its head. West. Taj Mahal. The beautiful Taj Mahal is made of white marble. It was built by an emperor in memory of his favourite wife. <coughs> peacock. The peacock has spectacular green and blue tail feathers. It raises its feathers into a fan to attract a mate. Indian Festival <laughs> Jerusalem Jerusalem is an ancient city with many holy buildings and places. Christians, Jews and Muslims all come here to worship. Oil well. There is a lot of oil deep beneath India. Quick, open the next clue. And here's another photo of you for your logbook. We're on the strip of land between North and South America. It's really tropical here. 
and there are some amazing animals in the rainforest. I've just seen a bright green tree frog. North. Alligator. The alligator lives in a swampy area of Florida called the Everglades. It lies in the shallow water, waiting to snap up fish in its jaws. Brown pelican. Atlantic Ocean. Deep in the Atlantic Ocean live some of the world's most extraordinary creatures, which have some amazing tricks for catching their food. This strange-looking anglerfish uses its own flashlight to lure smaller fish into its open mouth. While the lean gulper eel opens its jaws so wide it can swallow creatures twice its own size. The tripod fish swims down to the seabed where it stops to look for food. This amazing fish actually stands on its fins, waiting to pounce on some of the many creatures that live on the vast ocean floor. Scuba diving. Scuba divers like to explore under the sea. They carry air tanks with them so that they can breathe under the water. Bananas. Bananas are grown all over the West Indies. They are green when first picked, and turn yellow when they are ready to eat. Look! Joe's left you another clue! And you'd better have this photo for your logbook. We've come to Mexico, between North and South America. A long time ago, a group of people called the Toltec Indians used to live here. They left behind some amazing statues. Come and see. North. West. South. Grey Whale The Grey Whale lives in the northern Pacific Ocean. Like most big whales, it feeds mainly on tiny creatures called krill. Pacific Ocean The Pacific is the largest of the world's oceans and home to creatures like graceful manta rays. Along the dark seabed, are narrow trenches forming the deepest places on Earth. Underwater earthquakes make these waters extremely dangerous to explore. Further along the ocean floor, giant tube worms are found clustered around tall, rocky stacks. These stacks blow out hot, poisonous water and are known as black smokers. As you get closer to the ocean surface, the sunlit waters fill with life. Mm -hmm. Ray.
Roadrunner. This unusual bird can fly, but it prefers to run. It chases lizards and snakes across the desert where it lives. Cactus. Cactus plants grow in the hot, dry desert where it hardly ever rains. They survive by storing water in their spongy stems. After rain, cactus plants bloom. Each flower has bags of yellow pollen in its centre. The brightly coloured flowers attract insects such as bees and beetles who feed on the flower's nectar and carry its pollen to other flowers. Cactus plants only flower for a few days each year. Mexico City Mexico City <coughs> Howler Monkey The Howler Monkey is one of the noisiest animals in the world. Its loud howling call can be heard for miles around. Mayan Temple Oh no, Joe's gone again, but here's the clue he left. Here's your next clue from Joe. Here's another photo of you for your Globetrotter logbook. Mum and Dad have brought me to a country in southern Europe. We've come to a huge round building that the ancient Romans used for chariot racing. Can you come and find me? <laughs> Flamenco Flamenco dancing is very popular in Spain. The dancers wear colourful costumes and play special instruments called castanets. Spanish flamenco dancing was originally performed by gypsies from Andalusia. The dancers use skillful footwork and strong, fluid arm movements. This exciting and colourful dance is an art form, and a good dancer will express their passion and energy to the audience. Dancers can be accompanied by rhythmic clapping, singing and guitar playing. Barcelona. Barcelona is a Europe. Bonjour. <laughs> chamois. The chamois is a type of goat that lives in the mountains. It has special pads on its hooves which help it to grip the rocky slopes. Chamois are wild goats that live high up in the mountains of Europe and Asia, in places too steep for most creatures to climb. They feed on grasses and flowers, and during the winter months they eat pine shoots and moss. If food is scarce, they can go without eating for several days. Chamois are extremely nimble. Under each hoof they have a rubbery pad, which helps them to grip rocks on steep or slippery slopes. They can jump as high as four metres. Brand 
Castle. 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 The Parthenon. The Parthenon was built more than 2,000 years ago. It was used as a temple by the people. Octopus South Leaning Tower The famous You're hot on Joe's trail. Here's the latest clue. Send you, you and here's another photo of you for your logbook. We've flown to the far east of China. Mum says we'll try to find a festival to watch, as there should be plenty to see. If we're lucky, we may see a dancing dragon. Remember to bring the parcel. East. North. Brilliant! And you'd better have this photo for your logbook. We're in South America, in the Amazon rainforest. It's enormous, and there are lots of colourful animals. We've seen lots of bright birds, particularly macaws. If you follow the loud screeching sound, you'll find us. Tarantula. The tarantula. Rio de Janeiro. Rio de Janeiro is one of the largest cities in. Machu Picchu. You will lose. Sloth. The sloth hangs upside down from the branches of rainforest trees. It moves very slowly, sometimes staying in the same tree for several years. Joe's left you another clue. Click on the envelope to read it. In the heart of the hot, wet South American jungle, green-winged macaws chip pieces of hardened clay from the steep riverbank. The clay is rich in minerals and the macaws eat it to supplement their usual diet of fruit and nuts. Clue to find out where Joe's gone now. And here's another photo of you for your logbook. We've come across the Mediterranean Sea to a country that's shaped like a boot. There's an amazing tower here that is actually leaning over to one side. 
It looks to me as if it could fall over any second now. Fantastic, you've caught up. Click on Joe to give him his parcel. Ah, at last you found me. And you've brought my parcel. It's my favourite hiking socks. I really need them with all the exploring I've been doing. Oh, look, I've got something for you. A medal for all your hard work. It's for you to keep in your Globetrotter logbook. Only four more medals to win. Globetrotter logbook. The Arctic Ocean's frozen landscape is home to some of The Indian Ocean's warm, tropical waters are perfect for all sorts of sea animals. Coral reefs around islands teem with life, including colourful clownfish and sleek reef sharks. Beds of seagrass off the west coast of Australia provide food for sea snakes, sea turtles and strange sea mammals called dugongs. Further out to sea, you can find huge schools of tuna. Above the waves, flying fish leap out of the water, gliding for a while before returning to the sea. Travelling into outer space, we can take a closer look at the moon, the stars and other planets around us. From space, scientists can learn a lot about how the Earth was formed many millions of years ago. Using special satellites, they send back pictures of our weather patterns and beam messages from one side of the world to the other. Our world is just one small, round planet, part of a huge universe waiting to be explored. Hidden in the long grass, a tiger waits to pounce on its prey. Its stripes break up the outline of its shape, disguising it in the vegetation. Seeing an opportunity, the tiger springs out at the deer who scatter in panic. Tigers are not always successful in their ambushes, but the tiger homes in on a deer that gets separated from the others, and finally, he catches it. Baby koalas spend their first year with their mothers. Koalas only eat the young leaves and shoots of certain species of eucalyptus trees. This vegetation contains a great deal of moisture, so koalas rarely drink water. During much of the day they digest their food while sleeping wedged between branches in the treetops. The grey wolf is a lean, muscular hunter. Its elongated muzzle is perfectly adapted for seizing prey on the run. As pack animals, wolves live in extended family groups. By hunting together, they can be more successful at catching animals that may be larger and faster than themselves. Each pack has a leader, and each member knows their position in the order of dominance. Ostriches live in the dry, grassland areas of Africa. They cannot fly away from their predators, but adult ostriches have strong, muscular legs and flexible two-toed feet for running quickly. In fact, ostriches are the fastest birds on land and can reach speeds of around 64 kilometers per hour. Beavers spend most of their time in or near water. They are fast swimmers and have webbed back feet to propel themselves forwards and a wide tail which acts as a rudder. 
Beavers eat twigs, leaves and bark. Their mouth is specially adapted to carry branches without swallowing water while swimming. Beavers use vegetation to build homes, called lodges. These lodges give them security from predators and a place to store food for the winter. Wild African elephants live in the grassy plains and forests south of the African Sahara. Their tusks are the largest teeth in the animal kingdom. Elephants use them to dig for food and as a weapon against rivals or attackers. Hello? Hello? It's Joe here. I'm sorry, but I need your help again. I've left behind a really important parcel, and I need you to bring it to me. Click on the parcel to start a new adventure. Select a le This is the best holiday I've been on. If only I hadn't forgotten my parcel. We've come to Mongolia in East Asia. While we were collecting wood for the fire, Mum saw a strange creature that looked like a cross between a mouse and a kangaroo. This is the... East. North. Look! Joe's left you a clue. Here's a photo of you for your Globetrotter logbook. Our new friend Ahmed is taking us for a camel ride. I'm not sure exactly where we are, but we're somewhere in the middle of the African desert. Apart from palm trees, there are no landmarks. Just look out for the camels. West. 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 South. East. Oasis. Coco. Lagos. The city of Lagos. <laughs> Hippopotamus. Sidewinder. Dinka people. Pyramids. You will lose your message if you... Another clue from Joe for you to open. Here's another photo of you for your Globetrotter logbook. Oh, wow! Dad and I have been scuba diving near the thin bit of land between North and South America. It's a bit scary because the air tank you carry is very heavy, but the fish are amazing, really brightly coloured. Brilliant! Look, here's your next clue. Here's another photo of you for your Globetrotter logbook.
We've travelled northwards all the way up the Rhine, almost to the North Sea. We're in a very flat country where there are lots of tall buildings with long arms that turn in the wind. See if you can find us. North. You're hot on Joe's trail. Here's the latest clue. And here's another photo of you for your logbook. Dad wanted to explore North Africa, but Mum said she'd like to go further east, to Saudi Arabia. We're driving across the desert to the coast. The only landmarks are oil wells, so you should find us near an oil pump. Brilliant! Joe's left you another clue. Click on the envelope to read it. Here's another photo of you for your Globetrotter logbook. This afternoon, we arrived at a city on the southeast coast of Australia. We drove across a bridge that crosses a harbour and had a fantastic view of the Sydney Opera House. I'd love to live here. Come as soon as you can. <laughs> Kangaroo. Uluru. Uluru is a huge... Send a postcard. You... Australia. Australia. <laughs> Kookaburra. The kookaburra is a small bird that lives only in Australia. Its loud laughing call can be heard early in the morning and late in the afternoon. Surfing. Echidna. Open this clue that Joe's left you. Can you find... Brilliant! Here's another photo of you for your Globetrotter logbook. We're somewhere in Asia, high up in the mountains. There are some stone statues here that are so old that they've crumbled really badly. Only the heads are left. I'm sure you'll be able to spot them. Thanks for keeping up. North. West. South. <gasps> Quick, open this clue that Joe's left you. And you'd better have this photo for your logbook. We've travelled a long way north. It's so cold. Everything is snowy and icy. Dad says that if we're lucky, we'll spot a polar bear. I hope you find us 
because the snow has covered up our footprints. Good luck. West. Wolverine. East. 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 West. South. North. East. Snowy Owl. South. North. East. South. North. East. We've traveled a long way north. Husky dog. South. North. East. East. Arctic fox. East. Arctic hare. The Arctic hare uses its strong back legs to hop across the tundra. Its white winter fur helps it to hide in the snow. East. East. A to Z of everything. Joe's left you another clue. Click on the envelope to read it. Here's Joe's... And here's another photo of you for your logbook. We've just sailed across the Sea of Japan from the east coast of China and we've arrived in a city on the other side of Japan. It's full of people, skyscrapers and bright lights and it's very lively here. I'll try to spot you in the crowds. clue to find out where Joe's gone now. Here's another photo of you for your Globetrotter logbook. We're now in a huge national park in northeast Australia and we've just spotted a koala with its baby. Did you know that baby koalas sleep for about 21 hours every day? Imagine that!
Fantastic, you've caught up. Click on Joe to give him his parcel. Oh, great! You've arrived at last. I'm sorry for making you come all over the world, but this baseball cab is almost worn out. And I knew that I'd need my best one soon. But look, here's a second medal for your logbook. You deserve it for finding me again. And now you've only got three more to collect. Globetrotter Logbook Hello? Hello? It's Joe here. I'm... Hello? Hello? Select a level to... We're in an American city, standing at the top of one of the world's tallest buildings. I can see the whole of the city and a huge lake from here. If I don't get blown off, I'll wait for you here. South Look, Joe's left you a clue. And here's a photo of you for your logbook. You'll find us on the east coast of America, visiting a large white house. Dad's told me that it's where the President of the United States lives, which must be why there's a flag on the top. East. Quick, open the next clue. You will lose. Here's another photo of you for your Globetrotter logbook. We're down in the south of the African continent, and Dad's hired a jeep to drive across the Kalahari Desert. There aren't very many people here, but we met some bushmen who invited us to join them around their campfire. North. East. South. West. We're down in the south of the African continent, and Dad's hired a jeep to drive. Here's another clue from Joe for you to open. And here's another photo of you for your logbook. We've gone to Eastern Europe, to the Russian Federation. Mum's brought me to a huge building with colourful roofs to look around and listen to the singers. Come and find me here. Wooden Church Brilliant! Here's your next clue from Joe. Brilliant! Here's your next clue from Joe. Here's another photo of you for your Globetrotter logbook.
We're in a huge country north of the United States of America. And we've come to a city full of beautiful churches. We'll be waiting for you in a large church with a green roof. Remember to bring my parcel. East. Brilliant! Here's your next clue from Joe. You will lose. And you'd better have this photo for your logbook. We're on the Pacific coast of North America, in a city with a long golden bridge that stretches right across the bay. We're going to drive across the bridge later. If you follow us, hold on tightly to the parcel. North. Here's your next clue from Joe. You will lose. And here's another photo of you for your logbook. We're in Southeast Asia. Mum's keen to see lots of Thai temples. I like the food here, and I like eating it with chopsticks. We're staying near the Grand Palace, where the King of Thailand used to live. North Istanbul East Botala Palace East Golden Pavilion North West We're in Southeast Asia. Mum's keen to see lots of Thai temples. I like the South South Quick, open the next clue. And you'd better have this photo for your logbook. We've gone to North Africa to see a stone statue that looks a bit like a lion. It's huge! Mum told me that it was probably built to guard the funny triangular buildings called pyramids. Try and catch us up. Brilliant! Joe's left you another clue. And here's another photo of you for your logbook. We've come to a big city on the east coast of South America. We had to rush, otherwise we'd have missed the carnival. The city's full of music and dancing because it's the world's largest carnival. I hope you can find me. Here's 
Joe's next clue for you. And you'd better have this photo for your logbook. We're in a city in Northern Europe. We've just been to see a huge stone archway that was built 200 years ago. And now we're tucking into some delicious apple strudel. <gasps> what a treat! South. East. East. North. West. Eiffel Tower. South. Parthenon. North. We're in a city in Northern Europe. We've just been to see a huge... Fantastic! You've caught up. Click on Joe to give him his parcel. Oh, wow! You've tracked me down again! And you've brought my parcel! Phew! My Bermuda shorts! I've been dying to go surfing and show Dad how it's done. <laughs> Here's your third medal to go with the others in your logbook, because you're becoming such a world expert now. Only two more medals left to collect. Globetrotter Logbook. Select a level. We've gone to see the mountains of Central Europe. They're beautiful. I've just seen some mountain goats. It's amazing to see them climb. Come quickly and you'll be able to see them too. South. West. <laughs> Look, Joe's left you a clue. And here's a photo of you for your logbook. Today, we drove hundreds of miles through the bush, right into the middle of Australia. We've come to a huge rock that glows red in the sun. It should be easy for you to find us here. Today, we... Brilliant! Here's your next clue from Joe. And you'd better have this photo for your logbook. We're in the east of the Russian Federation and it's freezing cold. We saw a brown bear come out of its den earlier, which was really scary. Mum and I were terrified. I think even Dad was. We really are out in the wild. You'd love it here.
brilliant. Click here for the next clue. <laughs> Brilliant! And here's another photo of you for your logbook. We've flown to South America. It's brilliant here. Dad's taken me horse riding. And later, we're going to watch how the local people herd cattle on horseback. Don't forget the parcel. <laughs> Look, Joe's left you another clue. Here's another photo of you for your Globetrotter logbook. We've just flown into the east coast of the United States. We're off on a guided tour of the sights around New York. I'll see you at the famous statue by the harbour. Don't forget the parcel. Here's another clue from Joe for you to open. Here's another of Joe's clues. Here's another photo of you for your Globetrotter logbook. We've come to an ancient city called Jerusalem, north of Saudi Arabia. Mum's booked us on to a guided tour of all the holy buildings for the afternoon and I want to see the large building with a gold roof. Find me there. Brilliant! Here's your next clue from Joe. And here's another photo of you for your logbook. We're now in the middle of Africa, and we've just spotted some ostriches, the largest birds in the world. I hope they don't run away, as my bird book says that they can run up to 72 kilometers per hour. I'll look out for you with my binoculars. Brilliant! Joe's left you another clue. Click on the envelope to... And here's another photo of you for your logbook. We've travelled to southern Africa because Mum wanted to see the famous waterfalls. The river falls down a deep crack in the earth and it's amazing. The falls are really noisy too, so you should be able to find them. Another clue from Joe for you to open. Here's another photo of you for your Globetrotter logbook. We've come to Northern Europe and arrived in Paris this morning. There's a famous tower here, 
which Mum and I have just climbed. Dad's waiting below in a cafe. We'll wait for you here, so try and hurry. Leaning Tower North Quick, open the next clue. And here's another photo of you for your logbook. I'm on the North Island of New Zealand. There are some incredible springs here that shoot hot water and steam high up into the air. Can you believe that? Come and see them for yourself. South. South. East. South. South. Fantastic, you've caught up. Click on Joe to give him his parcel. Hi! Wow, that was really quick. You're definitely getting much better at this. And you remembered my parcel. This suntan lotion will be really great because I'm hoping to go to the beach next. I'm going to give you this medal. You've only got one more to collect now. See you at the end. Globetrotter Logbook Select a... I've got to be quick because I'm in a hurry. We're in a huge national park, trying to track down a herd of African elephants. Mum's calling me to hurry up and get in the jeep, so I'd better go. Bring the parcel. South. Joe's left you a clue. Here's a photo of you for your Globetrotter logbook. We're on an island in northwest Europe, and Dad's brought me to a famous building with a clock tower. It's overlooking a river. The Thames, I think. I'll look out for you from here. <laughs> Quick! Oh! And here's another photo of you for your logbook. We're nearly as far north as the North Pole, on a snowy island called Greenland. Dad wants to film the walruses here. Walruses are lucky, because they have layers and layers of fat to keep them warm. No, Joe's gone again, but here's the clue he left. Here's another photo of you for your Globetrotter logbook. My feet are so sore. We've just climbed Mount Everest, the highest mountain in the world. It's in a high mountain range in Asia. There is someone climbing it now, so maybe you can join them. Catch up as soon as you can. So.
South. West. Brilliant! Here's your next clue from Joe. Here's another photo of you for your Globetrotter logbook. We're in a lovely sunny country between the Atlantic Ocean and the Mediterranean Sea. There's a strange looking cathedral here with lots of tall thin spires. I hope to see you soon with my parcel. Here's your next clue from Joe. And here's another photo of you for your logbook. We've come to a beautiful marble building in India. My favourite bit is the fountain. Dad's going to stay until the evening so he can take some pictures of it at sunset. Hopefully, you'll have caught up with us by then. Oh no, Joe's gone again, but here's the clue he left. And here's another photo of you for your logbook. I hope you're in a holiday mood because we've come to the Mediterranean. You'll be able to spot us. We're in a ruined building with crumbling columns and not much roof left. Enjoy the Greek island hopping on the way. Quick, open the next clue. And you'd better have this photo for your logbook. We've travelled as far south as you can possibly go. It's so cold here that Dad's camera is in danger of freezing up. Come and look for me as quickly as you can. There are some funny birds that swim instead of fly. Look, here's your next clue. Oh no, Joe's gone again. Here's another photo of you for your Globetrotter logbook. We've sailed across the Sea of Japan to a country that's made up of lots of islands. The island we're on has thousands of cherry trees covered with blossom. They look really pretty, like huge balls of candy floss. North. South. We've sailed across the Sea of Japan to a country that's made up of lots of islands. Look, Joe's left you another clue.
And here's another photo of you for your logbook. You'd better wear lots of jumpers when you come here. We're right at the top of North America, near the Arctic Ocean, and we're staying with an Inuit family. They're going to take us fishing later, so look out for a small boat. West. East. East. North. West. <laughs> Fantastic, you've caught up. Click on Joe to give him his parcel. Hooray! You made it! This is the most important parcel, and I don't know how I could have left it behind because it's my teddy bear. You really deserve your last medal for this and for all your globe trotting. Well done. Globe Trotter Logbook. Sticker book. Wildcats. Can you find the tiger? Tiger. Tigers are the largest of all the big cats. They have become very rare since the forests where they live are being destroyed. See if you can spot the lion. Lion. The lion lives and hunts on the African savanna. Its ferocious roar can be heard for miles around. Can you see the cougar? Cougar. The cougar is a member of the cat family. It lives and hunts high up in the Rocky Mountains. Feathered friends. There are lots of fascinating birds in the world. Have you spotted these? Can you see the woodpecker? Woodpecker. The noisy woodpecker can often be heard hammering into trees with its beak. It can make holes large enough to nest in. Beautiful buildings. You will spot some amazing buildings on your travels. Monkey business. See if you can find the gorilla. <laughs> gorilla. Gorillas live in the rainforests of West Africa. Male gorillas growl and beat their chests when they are angry. Can you find the orangutan? <laughs> orangutan. The orangutan lives in the rainforest of Borneo. It uses its long arms to swing from tree to tree. I see animals. These animals live in the coldest parts of the world. Have you seen them? See if you can spot the muskox. Muskox. The muskox grazes on the cold tundra of North America. Its long, shaggy coat helps to keep it warm. Amazing plants. These are some of the most unusual plants in the world. Can you find them? 
See if you can spot the giant redwood. <coughs> giant redwood. Giant redwoods are the tallest trees in the world. They grow near the coast of California and can live for thousands of years. See if you can find the stinking lily. Stinking Lily This is the world's biggest flower. It is called the Stinking Lily because it gives off a very nasty smell. Famous statues. Bear necessities. Can you see the grizzly bear? Grizzly Bear The grizzly bear is very fierce. Although it is strong enough to kill large animals, it feeds mainly on fish. Scaly creep. Can you see the green turtle? Green turtle. Female green turtles leave the sea to lay their eggs on the beach. After hatching, the baby turtles head straight for the water. Can you find the chameleon? Chameleon The chameleon is a small reptile that lives on the island of Madagascar. It can change the colour of its skin to match its surroundings. Animal antics. See if you can find the flying squirrel. Flying Squirrel Flying squirrels do not really fly. They stretch out their legs and glide through the air as they jump from tree to tree. See if you can spot the beaver. Beaver Beavers can cut down trees with their teeth. They use the trees to make dams across rivers. Well done! You have completed your sticker book. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed exploring the world with me. I absolutely just love this game. I think it was such a fun way to teach kids about geography and all the different little animations and things you can interact with. And we got the sticker book done and all five medals for finding Joe and most importantly, for turning his teddy bear to him. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Which country is your favorite that we visited? And of course, subscribe for more nostalgic gaming. Remember, you are special and loved. You are never alone, and you're always welcome to come back and hang out anytime. Until the next video, God bless. I'll see you all later. Bye-bye, everyone.